some of us are still trying to wonder how do we use um, our big ideas math website so I'm kind of give you a little tutorial let's see if this really works or not um, so if you go to bigideasmath.com in any web browser um, you'll come up to this page and then from here if you click students it'll allow you to go into the student web page and then we go into the home edition and we are called common core so you click common core and you press go and it'll bring you a couple of choices of books right here and for math 7 we are in this red math accelerated book right here so if you click on it it'll bring up all the content that you need for our math 7 class so for instance here are some great things that you need to know here are all the chapters that we that we will look at this year so if we go into chapter 2 rational numbers and equations so if I click in it it brings up all the sections in that we will be learning about. Um, another great thing is, so if I go into, let's just say multiplying and dividing, oh, let's go down here, let's go to solving two-step equations. Okay. So if we click in here, it will give kids examples of how to solve the problems. Here is usually where we say that kids have to do certain problems. It's in their textbook. This is their online textbook that they need to go to. Okay. And then on this left-hand side, it's really cool stuff is that these are all the lesson tutorials that all of our students should be watching every single night. Okay. If kids aren't understanding how to do a problem, they're asking you, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do this. Well, they really need to go in here and look at this lesson tutorial examples. Now, this is Solve given by the publisher, three, and it minus really seven is equal to negative fifteen. Gives us a step through of so each single write our problem. Equation. We have four times t, or four t, minus seven is equal. To and I don't think any of the tutorials are longer than four minutes. So this is a great spot for kids to get extra help at. Another great thing is if I go back into chapter two, you know, we all want our students to do well. So if you go into like this 2.1 to 2.3 quiz or 2.4 to 2.6 quiz or the chapter review, these are all online quizzes that kids can do for free. Okay, so I go here. Here is a quiz that you can print out, check it out. They can go back and look at each section and then go back and watch the video tutorials or really understand how to do those. And then if you go over here to this progress check, here is a free online quiz checker. So kids, they can do the problems, they can answer them, all multiple choice, and then go down here and check your work and they can see what problems they got right and what problems they got wrong. Okay, so this is a great tool to use, okay. So let me go back into chapter two and then I can show you the other one. Here is the chapter test or chapter review. I believe might have another one as well. Okay, so here's a chapter review and all the concepts that we have learned in chapter two broken down by each session and then they can go through them. Okay. Once again, I hope this helped you out for understanding how to use the Big Ideas Math online textbook as a, a resource for students at home and for you uh, how to solve these problems. All right, thank you so much, and bye-bye. Dad? Yes, Tobin? Would you show me how many things you'll let me have? Have for Christmas?